on two things. One, I want you to think of an experience, the experiences that you've had where the, where the Spirit has blessed your life um, up to this point, where the guidance of the Spirit has blessed you up to this point. And also, I want you to think of uh, the ways that the Lord touches you through the Spirit, um, because the Lord talks to each and every one of us in a different way through the Spirit. Um, so I want to, you to think of um, experiences that you've had with the Spirit and, and how you have felt the Spirit, how the Lord talks to you through the Spirit. Um, I had a lot of really great experiences throughout my mission um, with the Spirit where it guided me to help me to understand where I needed to go or what I needed to do. A lot of great experiences that I had um, really happened during planning as I was planning the weeks or the week ahead or the night ahead during nightly or the day ahead during nightly planning. Um, and I really recognized that the Spirit was great, um, was, was great to give me ideas while I was planning. Um, but one particular experience that I had happened to me um, kind of out of the blue. Uh, I was serving, I served as an office elder. I'm not too proud of that. But I served as a, as a secretary for the president. And um, it was a really good experience, but it was kind of hard for me because I didn't have as much time proselyting as I wanted to. And I felt like as a missionary I should be out proselyting. Um, and one night we had a really long night. It took us, um, took us. It was a night before a big meeting that the president had, so we had to do a lot of work, and so we didn't have a lot of time to get out and cross a line. Um, we had planned a lot of um, follow-ups to go to different people's houses that night, but because we got stuck in the office, we weren't able to fulfill our plans, um, and so we only had about half an hour to do night to do contacts. And um, we went out and we uh, just went out walking to hopefully find people in the street. And we talked to the very first person that we talked to. We decided that we were going to talk to every person on the street. Um, and the very first person that we talked to, her name was Sir Lair, Um And she was amazing. We started talking to her and she just opened up immediately to us. She was so excited to hear the gospel. Um, and she just had a wonderful, wonderful experience. And um, I recognized later on that the Spirit actually did tell us to talk to that person. It prepared us throughout the day. Um, I never received like a voice, go this way or go that way, but um, we just received quiet promptings that led us to that person. Um, and I have many different stories throughout my mission that I was blessed with. And I really know that the Spirit... Um, Spirit does bless us. And so I want you guys, when you go home, to, to go home and write in your journal, if you could. Um, reflect upon the experiences that you've had as, as a, a person trying to understand how my Father's will for you. I want you to write down a few, a few special experiences that you've had where the Spirit has touched you. And a spe specifically write down how the Spirit did touch you. Um, because that's one way that I was really able to, to bless, was really able to understand the promptings of the Spirit better, is as I looked in my past to figure out how it had touched me in the past, or how it had talked to me, um, I was able to look forward in the future and kind of distinguish between my own ideas and my own thoughts, and Holy Father's ideas. Will you guys do that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Alright, sounds good. Thank you so much. I just want to bear my testimony really quick that I know that Holy Father loves us and because of that he sent us his, his son Jesus Christ and through the spirit we can understand everything that we need to do to receive the blessings of Jesus Christ and we as missionaries we can use the spirit to help other people out um, so that they can receive the blessings of Jesus Christ as well and I leave this with you in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. As far as things that I could have done better I realized that I was over the time limit I was only supposed to go 10 minutes and I I think I went about ten and a half. Uh, so I realized that I definitely should have cut that out. And I realized halfway through the lesson that I was going a little bit far. So because of that I kind of tried to rush things through a little bit. However, I did want to keep a lot of the content, especially the things that I shared at the end. I wanted to keep that personal story. So because of that I realized that I did go a little bit over. And I was trying to rush a few of the things that I had taught. Um, also. Because of, if I had the opportunity, there were a few things at the beginning of the lesson that I could have cut out, that I could have cut out, 
um, if I had the opportunity and that weren't necessarily essential to the lesson. I can't necessarily teach that over again, however. Um, also, because of my time constraints, uh, there were a few things I wanted to have the people that I was teaching share a personal story um, that I feel would have gotten them a little bit more involved. I feel that's something that was also missing from my lesson is that I didn't get the people that I was teaching, the members of my class, as involved as I could have. Um, I wanted a little bit more involvement out of them and the way I would have done that is to ask them to share a personal ex experience where they would felt the Spirit and the Spirit had made a difference in their lives. Um, however, I realized that because of the time constraints, I really couldn't have them do that. Um, so if I were to go back and if I had a little bit more time to teach the lesson, maybe cutting out a few of the things at the beginning of the lesson, I would have had them share a personal story so that they could have gotten a little bit more involved. 